Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Big Brace Channel. My name is Amir and I have a great new project for you. This is going to be only the demo video. So I'm going to show you what we're going to be building in the next video. Okay. Uh, just bear with me because I've actually uninstalled a lot of the, the packages and even <laughs> the languages themselves. I've uninstalled COBOL, Python. Uh, I've been doing some maintenance work and uh, yeah, this this what happened. Then I've installed Python 3.13. It was not compatible. Doesn't work with a lot of uh, packages and, 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 and stuff like that. Doesn't, doesn't um, really, it's not compatible with a lot of dependencies. So uh, that was the main reason that I've had to, uh, I've, uh, I've had to uninstall Python 3.13 and keep 3.10. And uh, I'm doing some calibration work now, if you will, uh, just to make sure that the application is working okay. And uh, yeah, so the application that we're going to be building today is uh, actually a machine learning one. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but just before, let me do Python m pip install upgrade. Let's upgrade the pip. So um, the the application that we're going to be uh, building today is a machine learning application. Okay. It's a mental health predictor. And let me just show you real quick here. So this is that's um, this is the project. All right, maybe I can change a little bit here. Let's do something you guys like. You like the jellyfish. I know that's the main entry point for the application, for the templates and for the source. You've got here front end right front of the pie because we're working with Streamlit. Okay. And I've uh, created the different applications with Streamlit. I've contacted the guys there, the, the developers, they're really brilliant. And um, Streamlit is a, a, a real, um, a real problem solver, if you will, if you want to create front end applications using Python, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to explain everything in details now because this is this is a, a real fun application, guys. And I really recommend you guys watch the next video because I'm going to explain a lot of concepts. So that's the front end. That's the application file itself. This is the uh, main entry point. Um, and that's for the database. So that's the script. I'm going to leave also the GitHub repo in the comments. For the next video, you can check it out. So you can see here that uh, we have our source folder. Uh, this in the source uh, directory, you have the init.py, you have the app.py. Uh, by the way, I'm using Fast API as backend. For a front end, I'm using Streamlit, as I told you. For and the models.py, we're using SQL Alchemy. And that's basically it. And you have your requirements.txt file, and you have here all of the dependencies Fast API, UV Corn, Streamlit, Pandas, uh, Sanskrit Learn, NumPy, Python Multipart, and SQL Alchemy. And without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what the application looks like. Now, um, be careful that uh, the front end exists in the source folder. So I'm going to run the, f the front end server, actually, the Streamlit server. So to do that, so to do that, you would do streamlit run then from the source folder forward slash front end uh, front end dot pi. Right. Once you do that, immediately you have here your front end server running. So that's basically our application. What it does actually, it shows you uh, how your mental health um, is going basically the risk assessment for your mental health. Okay. And that's based on different things. So first of all, you have your average sleep hours. I've put also weekly exercise hours. That's very important. Stress level, right? Social activity after Corona, we have been always, uh, we've been all, um, struggling with the social activities daily work hours that's very very important for the calculation and the daily screen time hours as social media and all of that crap is taking a lot uh, or taking a big part of our lives now 
So uh, depending on all of those parameters and how you will increase or decrease, you see here calibrating. So if you have here average sleep hours, uh, eight hours, for example, weekly exercise hours, you have, let's say, I don't know, uh, four hours. Stress level, we can keep it at five. Uh, social activity level, also we can keep it uh, the default. I kept it at five. Daily work hours, the default is eight. Daily screen time hours, let's bring that to the minimum. And click on predict risk. It's going to show you here a message telling you that is the backend server is running because we haven't actually run the fast API server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new terminal. And I'm going to do here Python main.py. That's fast API server. Right. Let's get back and let's refresh the page by doing F5. And let's keep everything as it is predict risk and you can see here immediately that we have our predictions these are the recent predictions because i've uh, been testing the application so yeah uh, predicted risk level low risk which is good if we will decrease the daily screen time hours we will keep the daily work hours at eight hours social activity level five stress level five exercise hours let's make it four and ever sleep hours let's make it eight that's even better and you can even increase that to check out today is um, uh, today is what the second Mar March the second it's um, 640 now and the prediction here is low risk comparing with other uh, tests that I've done you can see that the figures are pretty clear if you have uh, more screen time and less sleeping hours uh, or even the same sleeping hours uh, you're going to be in high risk um, also the stress level i've increased it here you see compared to uh, the one that have we've, we've made now the test that we've ran now um, yeah that's that's the result low risk it's very very useful application actually it uses front end it uses back end um, sql alchemy for database management system for data persistence uh, you have machine learning um, packages like uh, science kit um, uh, sci uh, science kit learn uh, also you have pandas numpy and uh, yeah this is real fun application and you can see here that we have the backend server running with fast api and the front end uh, server running with streamlet all right, so this is the next application that we're going to be building. And I hope you're excited because a um, long time we haven't done anything in Python, to be honest. And uh, I've kind of missed Python. Yeah, the, the channel, I've started this channel four years ago with only Python. That's the only language that I was uh, really okay at. I wouldn't say good or proficient, but I was, I can get my way around. Uh, using Python, uh, but after it, it was a real uh, roller coaster with you guys. We have done a lot of projects with Rust, with C, with um, uh, with what else? Go. Uh, so yeah, Rust, C, Go, Python, JavaScript, obviously, and frameworks. So uh, yeah, uh, I was uh, blessed and uh, lucky enough to have you guys supporting the channel. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in for. Uh, being the, the real backbone of this channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and be well, guys. See you later.